everybody. Frank back here again. There's another two for Tuesday. Today we have two flavors from Flavora. We have Flavora's Butterscotch and Flavora Smoked Butterscotch. And it's a little blurry there. Two flavors that the only thing they have in common is the name. Besides that, they are completely different flavors used completely different ways. So we're going to go down, see what they say about them over on the LR, uh, give some more thoughts to them, and that'll be it for your day. All right, let's go, everybody. All right, again, here we go. Butterscotch from Flavor. Contains acetoin, diacetyl, and like I always say, still better than cigarettes. Some flavor notes. Jojo says at 3%, after two days, light, sweet, faintly buttery. Two weeks, very sweet and buttery. Best I've had yet. Three weeks, pretty good stuff. One month, kind of light now. May need to up the percentage if used in a recipe it needs to steep. Prefer a single flavor at four. Let's see. Who else? Recommended pairings. This is Sinister Vapes Notes. Originally by Wayne Walker. Okay. Uh, let's see, medium 2%. See, 3%, you get the entire spectrum of the flavor. This one, this ingredient offers a, a spectrum of what this ingredient offers and really tastes like cookie like flavor. Cake, you really taste that cookie like flavor that hangs on. But this flavor really shines when used as a support at 1% to 2%. You can add sweetness, richness, and texture to any bakery or dessert. And I mean any. And you can go on, you can see more and more of what he says. You can pause it there. And let's see. Yeah, so Chachi says uh, medium 2%. Maximum use sing or medium single flavor is 3. So I said before is one of the only butterscotches I would vape with absolutely no other flavorings. At 3% you get the entire... Okay, this is the same notes from before. Sparks Fly says just where they bought it from. Full City Flavors. Uh, let's see. Let's scroll through here. Ziggy 1. Let's see. Medium 1.5. One flavor of caramel butter paired with flavor of butterscotch makes a great toffee. Add a little bit of honeycomb. If you want that little crunch. That's a nice combination. I like, this, I like the thought of that. Then just copy some other notes. Uh, Lucas Jean Holden prefers it at three. Divine by love by blood, not for solo. One three percent mixed. Uh, let's see. Here we go. Most commonly used with flavor of cream, flavor of caramel, cat V one, super sweet, flavor is vanilla custard, butterscotch ripple, milk and honey, peanut butter from flavor, FA cookie and RY4 double. I see all kinds of different things there that I really like. And 367 public recipes and 7,321 private. Let's see, the top one is from 2016 called Moon Butter from Morning Glory. Use it at 4.5%. Flavor percentage is a little high for Flavor, but then 2016, we're just Flavor was a really new company then, so we really hadn't hadn't really grasped the concept of how concentrated their flavors were. Uh, let's see, we have butterscotch four and a half, cream one and a half, milk and honey at one, peanut butter two and a half, and vanilla custard two and a half. Yeah, I would say it's pretty strong. Not doesn't necessarily have to be that way. Uh, here's lamb with pudding in the butterscotch. Uh, basically a butterscotch pudding here. I like this. Uh, flavor of butterscotch at 2. Butterscotch ripple at 8. Custard premium at 4. And New York cheesecake 2.5. Used to really enjoy butterscotch ripple at 10% as a standalone. It's decent vape, however, it's a little flat. This is, which would be true, so I decided to come up with a mix that would add some depth and boost those butterscotch notes. I like what you did there. It really comes off 
Really enjoy this off the shake. However, longer stay out of it. Custard comes through 30 days, giving it a pleasant, rich, thick pudding background with the butterscotch and cheese cake well blended in. The backbone of this is butterscotch ripple at 8%. This gives a pleasant butterscotch with a creamy background to this flavor. Of butterscotch at 2 adds depth to the butterscotch while also making it more prominent. And at 1%, it was still a little too light. 1.5 was a little bit better. 2 seems like it perfectly rounds it out. I like what he did there. Uh, Gentleman's Custard from Ohm Society. Another one from 2016. Use it at 3%. Went RY4 double at 6. Vanilla Custard from Capel at 4.5. PFA Brown Sugar at 1. And some of the Pyrazine. Not a bad looking mix there. Uh, here's one from Wayne. A Blueberry Lemon Donut. Where he adds it at 2%. Uh, F.A. Bilberry at a half. Blueberry Muffin from Flavor at four. Uh, cookie at one and a half. Tyrone at a half. And Yellow Cake from Flavor West at one and a half. This is an almost four-year-old mix. Is a smooth and fluffy butterscotch blueberry donut flavor. With a touch of lemon on the front. Very streamlined flavor, much like Bronuts. It's best after a few days rest, but, but it's great just overnight. Recipes asking me to play with and benefit from myriad different flavor profiles. Full write up and flavor notes at DIYDiveBaping.com. See, Chiba has one here. Chiba Steva, as you know from Noted Fame. Hanks and Banana at 0.75. Uh, banana Cream at 4. Flavor Butterscotch at 2. Butterscotch Ripple at 3. TFA is vanilla bean ice cream at three and cat vanilla custard at two. You know, I would say you know, two to three days steep. I would probably venture, I guess, a little bit longer than that. It would probably be where I would like it. Uh, Tam has, you know, jacked up Sunday. One of my favorite Tam mixes. Yeah, 14 days steep. Yeah, if you can, if, if you forget it, you mixed it and you put it away somewhere. Uh, you can stay out of it for 14 days, or maybe if you go, you know, you know, commit a minor felony and get a couple of weeks in prison, then you know, a couple of weeks in jail, then get your release on bail, and then you can vape it. Uh, butterscotch from Flavor at two, caramel at one, caramel popcorn and peanuts at three, Hanks and French vanilla ice cream at a half, Flavor popcorn at point seven five, Flavor toffee to have. Liquid bar and vanilla ice cream at four and whipped cream from flavor at one. Half the flavors in this mix I own because of this mix. This is an awesome mix. I, I mean, this is just awesome. It just really, I, there's not much more I can say. I know I'm partial because I'm because Tam's a good friend, but still. Smoky Blues Maple Delight. If anybody knows flavor, it's smoky. Now, if she does mix low, probably lower than most mixers. Uh, flavor butterscotch at 0. 0.4, flavor cookie at 0. 0.8, crunch cereal at 0. 0.8, maple bar at 0. 0.4, rich cinnamon at 0. 0.1, and whipped cream at 0. 0.6. It's been a few since she released a recipe. This was 2018 January. And this is one grown on sweet and creamy with a touch of nutty spiced bread. It's pretty good with coffee in the morning. I can see that. Uh, let's see. Creme brulee pie from Unasugazimo Gamiso. I've seen this mixer around a lot. Uh, let's see. This one's got a lot going on. Got anywhere biscuit 0.7, biscuit base at 1.2, buttercream frosting at 1, the flavor of butterscotch at a half. This just adds some darkness. Uh, caramel butter at 1.8, creme brulee vape train 1.5, pudding base 0.8, sweetener 0.4. Sweet cream from Vape Train 1.75, Tahitian vanilla cream from Wonder Flavors at 1, and vanilla custard 2 at 2%. This mix is only just about a year old. And a smooth, buttery vanilla custard with brown sugar and biscuit. Yep. That's, that's not exactly what it is. Oh, uh, let's see. I know I have a mix with using this. Let's see if it. Actually comes up here. Oh, Daddy King. Let's see what he did. Okay, that's okay. He adapted blue nuts. Not worried about that one right now. 
I know I have one here. Let's see if we can find it right quick. Here it is. And here's one of them. Here's a banana custard. Uh, we use flavor word banana at a half, banana cream at three, flavor word butterscotch at two, butterscotch ripple at three. Uh, vanilla bean ice cream from Capella at two, vanilla ice cream liquid barn at four, and vanilla pudding at a half. Precious quick custard. And let's see, I have that one. Where is yeah, here? It is butterscotch crimp it. A lot of people remember this one from Wayne mixed this up on one of his Friday shows. It's from February 2019. Buttercream frosting at 1.5. The butterscotch at one. Uh, golden butter at a half. And vanilla cupcake from TFA at three. Very basic mix. What the butterscotch does here is it adds a butterscotch flavor to the buttercream frosting. And that's one thing that flavor of butterscotch does well is you can take it and add it to a blank canvas. And this one, only one person rated it here, but it was also rated over. Now we're going to check out smoked butterscotch. And I said earlier, this one is something that's pretty much completely different. Let's see, Juice Junkie mix at 1.5, let's sit for two months. It says this is a nice and sweet butter flavor, similar to butterscotch, but that's. And it has the uh, same smoky back taste it gets from brulee. And, yeah, it does blend well with tobaccos. Uh, let's see, Amy, three asterisks, says tested 2% single flavor and max VG batch. Let's do for three weeks. I really like this more than I thought. Simple butterscotch flavoring with a touch of smoked essence. I, too, get a nice mix of caramel and vanilla behind the butterscotch. Uh, let's see, mix a lot. It says 0.5% sweet, mildly mild candied butterscotch. The smoke flavor is more noticeable in the exhale and is not a woody smoke, but more of a hot white charcoal, dark charred flavor at 1%. The butterscotch and smoke start to be fuller and balanced. The butterscotch is still mild and sweet, but not sickening or sticky sweet. Two to two and a half percent. The butterscotch is more prominent. It has a slight drizzle or melted candy vibe, and the smoke is throughout, leaning more toward the middle in the end. I said I get a lot of smoke from this flavor. I said this pairs out. This, in my opinion, this flavor pairs best with tobaccos and other dark and caramels and RY fours and stuff like that. And you can see here used with butterscotch ripple, with red burley, with sweetener, caramel. RY4 double, vanilla pudding, cream, butterscotch, AP, and sweet and smoky tobacco, which is an awesome flavor. 129 public and 1,603 private mixes. Not, not too many here that are really rated high. I mean, you know, they have a lot of five-star ratings. Go through a couple of them here. Uh, sweet and smoky butterscotch tobacco. August 2019, simple mix. Smoked butterscotch at one, sweet and smoky tobacco at three. But yeah, August 2019, I think it's not long after that sweet and smoky tobacco flavor was released. Here's another one from Tam, holy smoke. You got butterscotch ripple at 2.5, graham cracker at one, holy grail RY4 at four. And then a couple of sticks mix ones, a Honduran Leguero at three, and Nicaraguan Seco at three. And then smoke bar scotch at a half. Dude looks stoned as fuck. This is that's I mean if you like tobaccos, that's a very nice blended tobacco. I guess in here let's see Jazzy Girl and Butterscotch Custard. Now she uses it the other way. Use it more as a you know you know to build on the butterscotch part. See Flavor West Butterscotch 1.5, Cream at 1, Pistachio 0.25, Smoke Butterscotch 0.75, Vanilla Custard from Flavor at 2, and Vanilla Pudding at 1. Three weeks steep. Juice Fairy uses it. Was a vaping trucker? Mike used it. Hope you feel better, buddy. And Halitosis. This is November 2019. He uses it at 0.75 with Vanilla Bean, Red Burley. 
cream and caramel. So here he's also using it to uh, help with the uh, tobacco notes from the Red Burleys. And let's see, we have Juice Fairy, Honey Graham Smoke, uh, Acetylpyrazine at 0 0.05, so like one drop, not even a drop, like a toothpick. Uh, Graham Cracker at 1, Honey Bee at 0 0.1, Smoke bar scotch at 0.75 and sweet and smoky tobacco at 1.5. Smoky, semi sweet, buttery tobacco with graham cracker and slightly nutty notes. The honey adds a touch of a floral, natural honey note. And the graham cracker from Capella adds hints of cinnamon spice. This is a cross between a sweet chewing tobacco and a pipe tobacco. Nice and smooth, non offensive. That was very, very interesting. Pippa used it here. And Pippa is one really told me about this flavor to start with. Uh, Bones Honey Nut Cake with Marmalade. Okay. Uh, butter Pecan at 2. Uh, flavor of Caramel 0.5. Golden Syrup. Honeycomb. Orange Marmalade. Pound Cake and Smoked Butterscotch. Made for a fantasy series with, with Jen Jarvis on Flavor Pro. Yeah, I remember I was part of that. That was that was a good time. That was fun. Uh, let's see. Vaping Lizard. I haven't seen Aaron around in a hot minute. Here he uses it at 0.75. Fresh is a quick custard combo there. Uh, honeycomb Fig from F.A. and Buttercream. Interesting, it's got some notes on it there. This recipe was created for the Mix in the Kitchen Facebook platform. I went for a show down the rabbit hole this episode. Versus Quick Custard. Okay. Thanks, buddy. I didn't really notice it before. Showing some love. Pineapple pizza. For as much as I hate pineapple pizza, we'll look at it anyway. Uh, Pippa uses it at a quarter with some starch base, ripe tomato, pizza from Salubrone, which I've never seen that flavor before. Uh, basil, black pepper, yeah, some oddball flavors there. That's different. That's for damn sure. Not something I'd mix. Alrighty, gang. So there we have two flavors, similar and different at the same time. Uh... I kind of disagree with some of the notes and some of the opinions, but that's what's great about DIY is everybody's taste is subjective. So what you may taste is I may not taste and vice versa. But that's it. These are two flavors. Not bad to get. Uh, the butterscotch I'd put in that top 100. The smoked, it's up to you. Uh, you know, if that's the flavor you want. But I think if you have the butterscotch, you'll mess it, unless you're mess, messing around with tobaccos personally, you may not need to smoke butterscotch. Alrighty, gang. Enjoy the rest of your day. Be safe. Wash your hands. Don't talk to them strangers. And we'll see you tomorrow for hump day. Bye, everybody.